so we are at one of my favorite portions of this lesson series, and we're going to talk about some of these cool blues licks and things that we could do. So many of these things are going to be rooted in a great tradition, and you know, of some of the greatest players we can think of, Hendrix and Jimmy Page and all of this, and we're going to put this all together to be inspired to make this Joe Satriani sound. That's what we're going to do today. So we'll use a little bit of the Wawa, and we'll uh, cover... In this particular case, some shapes are going to be great with that jam track that you could play along to. So I'm going to focus on G pentatonic right now, and this is going to be G minor pentatonic. And this is my first shape, just to get started. <laughs> Right, easing into it today. So um, we will use a little bit of the second form, and of course you can refer to the PDF after I do a couple of these, and you'll have all of them that you need to make sure that we're good as we go through this section. So uh, the next one's going to start from my sixth fret. Okie dokie. So classic licks. We're just going to dive right on into them. Right. We got to be really comfortable with our bends or we need to be, I should say. So we're going to start slow, and I'm actually just going to play, and you'll be able to follow those sweet tabs as they come up on the screen there. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of pace ourselves through this and build some licks. So the first thing that I want to think about are some of these great sounds that are going to come from moving like this. Now we're going to get into vibrato and all that stuff in a minute. So. And more importantly, the feel that happens when we put in some of these notes and when we play along to the track, we want to be able to add some swing and feel and not just play these straight. So that's going to be really important. And what we're focusing on is this low to high movement to start us where we have our root note here and we're going to this next additional root. Because by theory then, all of the notes that take place here are going to be right here. So anytime we learn a lick, I'm going to go to the octave up here too. That's involved in this center part here that sounds so cool, and it could be this. As we slide a lot, that's using the blues note. Let's play the blues scale. As we use this section, we're going to realize that we can do it here, we can do it here, and we can do it here. And that's going to be really cool. And then we'll add some toys and devices to it as we go. So when we're working our way up... Now, to achieve the tone in the vibrato here, we want to think about how it's going to sound different wherever I play. Now I'm going to add a little bit to this. I'm going to add the wah-wah in here, right? And I'm working on my grip on this particular string, as well as maybe getting used to scooping in with my wah-wah as I bend a note. Now my foot's going down just as that note comes up. Really slow. Every time I play a note, I can do that. And that's a huge part when we're being melodic a lot of the time. And a lot of times when using a wah wah, the thought process is, is to, you know, you kind of tap your foot to the beat of the song, so to speak, you know, I'm just kind of moving my foot in that fashion. But this is going to be approached a little bit different. We're going to kind of ease into some of these melodies. Just for right now. So those are kind of approaches that we're going to do, but let's map out some of these licks so I just don't keep playing these things without explaining them. So now within here, I've moved up to that right there. Now with these notes, a lot of these are going to be traditional sounding blues phrases, you know. And 
we're going to get into some more of those Joe-ish type, you know, nuances with sliding and stuff, but we're just getting used to grabbing. And a lot of times I rake into my bends, and that's huge. And to rake, I'm muting here as I glide across the string, and then I hit just that single note. So here's a really cool lick. That's a pretty classic phrase that we'll hear him use from time to time. And if I filter that with a wah. Going back. Upstroke and downstroke motion with my right hand. So again, we'll break that down a little bit. I raked in. Opening up every time. And we want to have that nice strong grip. So um, other licks that'll sound cool when we apply the wah wah to them is we can take this guy here, which is a good one. Now his little spin on it, which I think is kind of cool, is he throws that in at the end. So you have. And that's fun to do, especially when you put the wall on. That's a pretty fun sound and phrase. And, you know, like I said, so many that we can do here. Um, but these are, I'm just picking some of the ones that are off the top of my head from some of my favorite tunes that he's done. So if we take here now. And we're going to do that in pull-offs. We've seen that in a lot of different ways, but he's going to do it in pull-offs. That's a nice sound and blues like there. Now notice I'm still in position one, so we're going to be getting out of this position here pretty soon. But we've got great uh, things to work with in this area. And that kind of movement, those are licks that we hear a lot. really, really fun to play. And these are, like I said, some pretty straight ahead blues licks, but... 